I'm picking up my brand new 2019 Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here, and guess what? This is a very special day because today I'm picking up my brand new 2019 Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. Yes. The motorcycle that everybody's been talking about this year. Whenever I post a Ducati V4R video, people want to see this bike as well. So here we go. Today we're going to be going over this bike and then I'm going to give it my first ride to tell you how I feel about this motorcycle. And of course, in 650 Eve tradition, we're also going to weigh this motorcycle with the full tank of fuel on the Intercop wireless scales. But for right now, we're here at State Aid Motorcycles. We got my good buddy, Jason. Jason. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Can you go over a few things of this beautiful motorcycle with me? Yes. So the 2019 factory Aprilia 1100 is now 100 cc's bigger than last year. Uh, it has a claimed horsepower of 270 horsepower. Uh, it revs out another 500 RPM more than last year's model. Okay, that claimed horsepower, we're actually going to put that to the test real soon as we put this bike up against the rest of my motorcycles, including the 2019 Ducati V4R, the 2020 BMW S1000 RR, the whatever else we got, the H2, the HP4, uh, the Yamaha R1M. So you're going to see a complete dyno comparison of these bikes back to back on the same dyno on the same day. Stay tuned. Let's turn the bike on. Yep. Everything's going to light up, assuring that everything is functioning. Okay. Uh, the Aprilia TFT was display. Yep. Uh, it first asks for your personal code. At this time, we won't set that personal code. Okay. Unfortunately, if you set it and forget it, we will probably You're have screwed. to take your ECU <laughs> back to Italy. So okay. we'll stay out of that now. So everything lights up. Right now, you've got your your ABS and your traction control lights lighting up. You have your side stand down and engine light, okay? okay? So those are all just telling you they're functioning, reading, the sensors are re you know giving you input back to the ECU and saying it's functioning. Okay. Uh, at speed, you, your ABS will go at about seven miles an hour. It'll it'll disappear. Okay. And so will your, uh, your traction control. Okay. Kind of unique to Aprilia, is, which I like, is the lean angle here and caution wherever you're gonna get. So yeah. as you can see, if we pick up the machine, it's live and telling you what degree oh, your cool. lean angle is. So as we look here, controls all here on the dash. Uh, one thing I do like about the uh, Prilia over the rest of the, the manufacturers is they have this joystick which controls all your controls, okay. which you can control while you're riding the machine. Sure. Some of these things you can change, some things you cannot change while you're riding. Yeah. Uh, some will rely on you to, to turn off the throttle input mm -hmm. to do it. So they don't want you changing uh, your, your, your power control from your sport to your track to your race mode. Okay. So it won't allow you to do that. Um, on the left hand side here, you can change this to wheelie control, which is uh, controllable while you ride, oh, nice. or you can switch it inside the system to uh, cruise control. So this, this bike does have cruise, cruise control. control. Absolutely. You do have some race features here, and there is an actual screen you can go to to actually flip it into a race mode. Okay. That's like track days, and so it's very specific to that type of application and gives you a lot of feedback. Okay. Um, you also can buy the, uh, the Aprilia uh, module that will hook up to this, will actually allow you to download track information. And so if you're going to get real serious on the track, which I am, you might want to get that module and okay. install it. I'll so, do that. It's got one mile on it. Who put that mile on my bike? Uh, I did, and only on the rear wheel. So the front oh, tires, oh, no, no mileage. You put it on doing wheelies <laughs> on my bike. That wasn't nice. <laughs> so also in here, you get your, your trip meter and okay. the time you spent on that trip. And your max speed was 88 miles an hour. Awesome. I'll show you once we start the motorcycle. Once you start, we can actually switch the, the ECU, which is your sport, your touring, 
your race and track modes. May I have the honor of starting it? You sure can. All right. The bike is in neutral, ready to go. Okay. So as the bike's running, if you hit the start button, you'll actually light up the sport mode. Yeah. Okay. And then you can change it there. So once it's flashing, you can change between all modes. Oh, that's I do cool. apologize. There's no touring mode on this particular Aprilia. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> sport mode. And then you go to race mode. Sport mode will be the least amount of aggression. Okay. Sweet. Race mode being full power, let's go. Yeah. And then obviously, we can go into the menu mode also. We just go down here to the bottom and go into menu. And this is the Aprilia suite here of all your options and the APRC settings. Cool. If we go into settings, you can then change all your yeah. anti-lock, the yeah. traction control, Aprilia wheelie control, Aprilia launch control and the quick shift down, we can turn on and off also. Yeah, I'll never turn that off. Never. Enchanté. That looks pretty thorough. Looks like I have my some fun set out for me reading the manual and getting up to speed with all this, but There's thank still you so much. There's a lot to learn. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we man. appreciate your business, man. Thank you, Eve. My pleasure, Jason. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. So that was my good buddy, Jason, going over the settings on his beautiful motorcycle. Now, you might remember I used to own a 2016 Aprilia RSV4 RF, and these settings look a little different, so I'm going to study the manual so I can come up to speed with this. But for right now, it's time to ride this beast! Goodbye, State 8 Motorcycles. Thanks for the bike. So, since the bike has only one mile on it, the tires are brand new, as we found out from when we had our agricultural experience at Barber on the R3, so we have to take it easy today. But I will say the gauges look amazing. And this bike is very comfortable. And I totally missed the way this tank is designed. It's really cool and uh, allows the knees to really hook up in there really nice. All right, <laughs> first ride. That's a lot of power. And it does sound nice, I must say. I love the shift light. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. It's a progressive pattern there, it looks great. Auto grippers working, silky smooth. I just downshifted in the second gear. Wow. <laughs> that shift light's awesome. Wow. Whoa! This bike's got some balls. Indeed it does. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm thoroughly impressed, and I haven't even taken it a mile yet. You can definitely tell that this is a beastly engine. Still taking it easy, fresh tires, and that sound it makes. But I really think that one of my favorite 
things on this bike, it's gonna be that shift light. The way it changes different colors and progressively stages. That's nice. Then the second thing will probably be the sound. The sound this bike makes. Wow, and then the third thing's gonna be the comfort, man. This bike's comfortable. Wow. I'm thoroughly impressed with this motorcycle. I see why everybody raves about this bike. The throttle on this motorcycle is pretty much perfect. As perfect as I've seen on a super sport motorcycle to date. There's absolutely, I mean, it's just so smooth. There's absolutely no uh, jerkiness or craziness in this throttle. And this bike is still stock with the stock a Krapovich exhaust system that has catalytic converters and mufflers. So, the fact that it's so smooth really impresses me. As promised, we've got the bikes out. Well, a few of them are still hanging around in the garage, but the Ninja H2's there. We got the EBR 1190RX, the beautiful 2013 BMW HP4, excellent motorcycle, and of course the 2019 Ducati V4R. And we've got the Aprilia. RSV4 1100 factory on the Intercomp wireless scales, and we have to figure out how much this motorcycle weighs. Bone stock. Now keep in mind, it does have this monstrosity. I know this exhaust looks good, but it is a monster because it has a catalytic converter in there. Uh, X up valves all over the place. Yeah, right there, you know? So all of that adds weight. And besides that, this bike doesn't sound as menacing as it could and as it should. And as my good buddy one up five downs RSV4 RF sounds because it's all choked up with this nonsense. So our good buddy Miami Manny from Moto Million is sending us a full Akrapovich, full titanium exhaust for this beast. And I bet you it'll shed between 20 and 30 pounds, believe it or not, once it's all said and done. We're also gonna get rid of these brackets for the passenger foot bags because uh, this bike will not ever see a passenger on it and uh, and we're going to get a whole bunch of other parts uh, rotobox boost wheels we'll replace these beautiful metallic flaked gold wheels and we're going to get them in satin finish to go along with the matte carbon fiber that adorns this beautiful motorcycle so i think it's going to all look very nicely this motorcycle does have a full tank of fuel, as you can see right there. And that's how we weigh our motorcycles here on the 650EB YouTube channel, always with a full tank of fuel. This is a very nice key too. Yeah, I like it. This has a prilly on everything. It's really awesome. Now it's time for us to see what that bike weighs. Let's see, where's my controller? There it is. Since it's wireless, this controller could be anywhere. It says that our Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory weighs 455 pounds. 455 pounds. Let's wait to see what happens once we install our full Akrapovich exhaust system. Titanium from my good buddy Manny at Million. And then we get this ECU flashed. Wow. And that truck just ruined my awesome on-ramp maneuvers. Ah. Regardless of that, <laughs> the gearing on this bike is really awesome. Uh, first gear, <laughs> as you see, can take you clear into 60, 70 mile an hour, which is great because once you get up in those higher revs, you hear more of that beautiful Aprilia music. And it is like a symphony to your wax infested ears. <laughs> People don't understand the benefit of a V4 engine, and that is all of the power you have on tap throughout the rev range, from low to mid to high. And since they stuck the 1100cc engine in this beast, it's just got power for days. Outstanding. 
absolutely outstanding. Fifth gear. Ridiculous power on this motorcycle. That's what you guys always wanted. The state troopers have a roadblock set up just for me. Just for me. Two types of troopers. We got the truck troopers that drive white SUVs and we got the car slash truck troopers and the silver vehicles, but no, they're not for me. So uh, rejoice no longer. Yeah, I'm just uh, it's a new bike. I'm just going over the settings. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's how I can summarize my Aprilia RSV 41100 factory. You know what, my 2016 that I owned years ago, I absolutely loved that motorcycle, but it was very different from this one. It didn't have as much power as this bike has. It of course didn't have the beautiful thin film transistor screen up there with the plethora of information that this bike has. The menu on that bike wasn't as easy to access and navigate through as it is on this. The bike was totally different and it didn't have cruise control either. This bike is absolutely brilliant. Um, it did not need a complete redesign by any stretch of the imagination. The older generation of the RSV4, we all know, has an amazing chassis that it works on. And it has a great engine. Even the 998cc engine is fantastic. But this one just improves upon all of that. Um, improved engine. Now it's 1100cc, which is great. That extra power, phenomenal especially on the filthy highways and the filthy streets. I can't wait to put it on the track to see how that power translates into a track weapon that this bike is known to be. If I have any gripes with this fantastic motorcycle, it's of course the incandescent headlights that are just completely dull and virtually useless at night and the incandescent rear turn signals. Um, the rest of the lights on this bike are LED, the tail lights and the front turn signals that are integrated into these fantastic mirrors. One of the most, no, the most useful mirrors that I've ever seen on a super sport motorcycle. The design of them, brilliant. There's absolutely no vibration. These mirrors do not suffer from Parkinson's disease like they do on my Pinagales. Although the V4R does have improved uh, mirrors, they still do shake a little bit, shake, rattle, and roll. These do not. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're currently a subscriber, tap that bell so you can be notified when new content is uploaded because you're not going to want to miss a single episode that is uploaded to the channel. Trust me. And soon enough, we will have in our possession the 2020 BMW S1000 RR M Sport. And we'll just have to see how that all new motorcycle is compared to this, the V4R. The Yamaha R1M, the Ninja H2, the EBR 1190RX, for good measure, the MT10. Yeah, love that Jaguar. And uh, everything else <laughs> if, that I might have missed that we're going to rank these bikes up against this year. Dino shootouts are coming, weight comparisons, track riding, track smackdowns, all sorts of stuff is coming, so you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks so much for viewing, folks. We'll catch you next time on the 650EB YouTube channel.